Now, we're still hearing from thousands of you struggling to get unemployment benefits. It is an ongoing nightmare, a problem we've been following for months. And today, a new issue that's keeping people from their benefits. Our Lindsay Nadgert's getting answers, trying to, for one local woman, Lindsay. Yeah, well, there are still 61,000 PUA claims that need to be processed, and we learned that group of people could likely be waiting until at least August 8th before they see any money. That's the date the employment department set to get through that backlog, but that's not the only issue people are facing. Terry Ward considers herself one of the lucky ones. She filed a regular unemployment claim, got approved, and started getting benefits. But that all changed five weeks ago. They just stopped paying me. And I got a letter in the mail that said I had reported myself back to work and they wanted to know, you know, why didn't I report my hours and if I wasn't back to work, why? She hasn't gone back to work, so she filled out the required form and mailed it in. But she doesn't think anyone is checking the mail because that same form keeps showing up every week. And it does make you feel ignored. And then every time you get one of those letters in the mail, you just want to cry. You know, you just feel like crying because they're showing you that they don't care and that they're not reading your mail. It turns out Terry isn't the only person this is happening to. I got an email from another man experiencing the same issue. So I asked acting director David Gerstenfeld about it. He said their system isn't set up for a pandemic and is pausing payments for some people because normally they would be going back to work by now. I'm told they are proactively looking at claims to keep this from happening to more people. We're doing a couple of things to address it because although that system works well when we're not in a pandemic, it isn't working well now. If this happens to you, Gersten Feld suggested filling out the form as directed and try calling. Advice that at least in Terry's case was easier said than done. I tried calling, tried calling. I called easily over a thousand times. For many, it's still nearly impossible to get through for help, despite their efforts to add more phone capacity and employees. Well, we also learned legislators are working on a proposal to send $500 emergency relief checks to people still waiting for benefits. They plan to meet to discuss that idea on July 14th. We'll be sure to let you know what happens. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Coin Six News. Lindsay, thank you. And do you